Hello, welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Deb. It is the holiday. It is, yes. It's been a while. We have had a very busy, <laughs> very busy fall into Christmas. And, and we fell into Christmas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's, it's in a week. Yeah, yes, it, yes it's, it's crazy. But we wanted to come on here and, and um, just give a quick little video. We're going to we're gonna stitch a little bit and visit. catch up, visit. Um, and we want to bless you with some Christmas fun. Yes, we do. Yes. So but we, Merry, Merry Christmas. Yes. Hopefully everyone is uh, knee deep in all things Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> and if you're really fortunate, snow. Which oh, I know. We don't have yet. I, oh. told, I just wrote a note to Sandy today to put in the mail and I said, and it said, let it snow on the front of the card. Oh. And I thought, you're probably not thinking this, but we are. <laughs> yeah. All day yesterday when it was raining, all I kept thinking is, why can't this be snow? Yeah. Oh, man. She texted me that on her way home. When oh, it's like, anyway. all this rain. This this was last weekend when she was on her way. Wasn't that last weekend you were on your we way had, home from the beach? And it yeah, was we had pouring rain last too. weekend, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been crazy. I don't... Either I'm not home or she's not home. I mean, it it's been absolutely crazy. I've never had a December this busy. Mm -mm. I don't think. And it's not... For me, it's not been because it's been a lot of people places to be, just a lot of things. Oh, okay. You know, appointments, mm -hmm. driving people places, all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Oh, and then you light your kitchen on fire. That didn't help. <laughs> God, Sunday well, it's morning. What's your yearly tradition? Yeah. It is now. <laughs> yep. I, yeah. We won't go into details. Let's just say we're getting a new element. Yeah. We did get together and do cookies here. Yes. And she didn't set anything on fire. Nope. <laughs> nope. Good. But I didn't operate the oven either, so. <laughs> oh, we we actually, she came over. I had Rhett also for a week. Well, almost a week uh, while the kids were on a cruise. And that was fun. Um, a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. He was such a good boy. So Liz came over one day, and we got to spend the day with Rhett, and we made cookies, Christmas cookies. Yep. We got a lot done. Yes, I mean, we, we did. did. We did. We did really good. We even had time to, like, hang out and relax we afterwards. We did. Sat and visited for about an hour or yes. so. Yes. Um, mm. Made three different kinds of cookies. My peanut butter blossoms were a bit on the small side. That's okay. And Light I size. finally, I think I figured out what happened to the batter, though. You know, the my sister gave me her former KitchenAid mixer. Mm -hmm. I don't know one blade from another on a KitchenAid. I never had one. I was using the whisk and not the beater. Oh, okay. And it kept getting down to this really soupy consistency and I'm wondering if I had used the right mixer would it have blended differently maybe mm. I don't know I I don't know I think it might have been that oil you used but I'm still trying to blame it on something else <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I used too much I used <laughs> coconut oil in place of the shortening but I used too much of it as a substitute they I think. were still good they tasted yummy yeah they were that's all in that fact matters. Rick and I eat the last two of ours last night yeah that's all that matters but I'm gonna make a different batch and fill that back up again but Deb had a recipe you pulled it off Pinterest yeah 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 I haven't tasted and it's a, it it's a good one um it uses cake mix and it's so simple it but is but it has a very good flavor to it it's just really good that's like four ingredients yeah it's great none of um, which you have to do so much you can with whip those babies up really quickly that's what I'm hoping for I want to say thank you so much for all of the birthday cards and birthday wishes Yes, I turned 50 on December 7th. We actually got to hang out for the day. That was a nice oh day. Oh my gosh, it was so relaxing because we had just been going, going, going. And Liz was like, what do you want to do? We'll do anything you want to do. We'll go wherever you want to go. And I thought, I seriously just want to go somewhere quick nearby for lunch and come back here and just relax. Chill. So and we, we did. did. It was fun. Yep. That was great. Um but yes, it was a very good celebration. We went to uh, St. Michael's for the weekend, took the kids and Rhett and had a ball. Um, it rained again, but that's okay. We had a good time. So yeah, lots been going on. Yep. 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 We got a tree up. We still, we have to put Did our ornaments on. Nope. Okay. That's supposed to be today. Okay. But his lights are on and they did that while I was away. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, I got a wrap. Okay. You're done. I still have Matt's stocking stuffers to wrap, but then I'm done. Ooh, yeah. yeah. I need to take in. And I have to finish our... Too. We, we are... Um, I'm starting a new tradition with the kids because they're older, you know, and um, it's going to be called Reindeer Games. So I did a little bit of something like this at Easter time, and so I'm just tweaking it for Christmas. 
Um, but it, it'll be really fun, I think. Matt and I, on our way to Pittsburgh the other day, we were coming up with all these clues. So basically, there'll be two teams, McKenna and Connor and Logan and Bree, and they'll work as teams this time. And there'll be lots of different boxes on the table, on the kitchen table, like those little boxes you can get at the Dollar Tree. Yep. You know? And inside will be a note that says something, and it'll be some kind of a challenge, either a team challenge where they are competing against each other or a challenge just for them as a team. And then each box will contain a certain amount of like money because you know that's what they need they both have houses that kind of thing and they have to win the challenge to get the money and then there's different tricks along the way and interesting things and we have some really funny things for them to do <laughs> so we can't talk about that yeah i'm advance. not gonna just i don't want just in case one of them watches yeah. this i'm not gonna give away any clues but no. it's gonna be fun <laughs> you have to record some of it i want to see some i will of it. yeah you don't want to miss it no. oh my gosh so then this will be, because they loved when we did something like that at Easter. And, um, and yeah, I thought, well, this will be a neat tradition then to hopefully start. Yep. But. <laughs> you're going to get money. You're going to work for it. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. That's right. It's not fun to just hand somebody something, a gift card or money. That's not fun. <laughs> How bad do you want it? <laughs> yeah. I was talking about hand somebody money. I told Deb the other day that when it comes to Leroy now, I ought to just feed him my cash. <laughs> Instead of toys. He eats them immediately. Charlie just got in trouble a oh, second ago did, for a yeah. toy. He mm -hmm. just kind of took yes. took a honk out of. But yes. He's been bad twice so far today. <laughs> Leroy ate the the remote to our soundbar yesterday. <laughs> Can you replace that? Yeah, I did I did oh, find one okay. online. Okay. Another seven dollars for Amazon. Um, but it'll be here and we'll be able to hear again without getting out of our chair. Aren't we spoiled people? It used to be. So wait, you can't cook right now. No. Nope. You can't hear your TV. No. Oh man. I just stand and go in little circles <laughs> and, and talk to myself. Um, but the, the, uh, remote was collected, all the pieces. <laughs> and then I'm in the kitchen. I was decorating. I was trying to finish the kitchen yesterday, mm -hmm. clean it, decorate it, have it ready. And I hear a noise, and it's like lip smacking noise. And I thought, mm. oh, it does not sound good. Yeah. Like when he's on the bed, he looks up like, "Hi, mom." Yes. And he's got my pillow hanging out of his mouth, and he's eating the corner of my pillowcase off. Yeah. He's no, we're not doing that either. Oh God. my goodness. It's like no. Yes. So I have to do something. I I mm. I was talking to Deb. There's some kind of angst in him these last few days, and I'm not sure it's not tied to the weather. He's not getting enough exercise, and he's just looking for things to. Yeah, it's been it's been yucky here. Keep him busy. We need some of that snow for them to play in. Yes. All right. Let me show you what I'm working on. Oh, and I've had a bunch of inquiries lately for the hometown holiday series that I do in phases, which is funny because that's exactly what I'm going to be stitching on today. Um, funny how that works, isn't it? <laughs> so, I went ahead and took off the wall phase one and two just to give you another recap. Um, because it, it seems like maybe we have a lot of new subscribers that are just we do finding things. Um, and that's neat. And hello to new subscribers. And thank you very much to those of you that have stuck with us all this time. Yes. This was the very first one I did. So these are all little house needlework patterns. Mm -hmm. Hometown holiday series. Yes. And then I, I put them together to make a town. Um, and, and this she is... She adds and subtracts her own. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is 32 count raw natural. Um, and so this was phase one, the pet shop, the florist, the fire company. I added the um, snow, that, those are just French knots. The train station, and that was someone's house, I forget who. I, I don't know if it was grandma's house, I'm not <laughs> sure. But, um, Anyway, yes, like Liz said, I kind of tweak and change and add trees and move things around um, as it goes. And I just kind of do that on a whim. I don't really think about it much ahead of time. That was phase one. Do you know oh, and I'm having them framed the same way. You but. should have Logan make this in Legos and have a Lego rendition of your phase yeah. construction. Yeah. <laughs> Logan's Legos. Yep. All right, so this is phase two. That was the candy shop and the bookstore, the little cafe, uh, the diner, toy store, and needlework shop. I'll get a little closer. On this one, I had a lot of fun with the trees and I added some um, 
of those birch trees. So those are just freehand stitched for the birch trees. Did a lot of uh, backstitch. I, I like to add a lot of backstitch to these patterns that don't call for the backstitch because I think it really makes them pop. It certainly does. And like the wreath is French knots and this topiary French knots. And then on this tree, it's cross stitch. But then over the cross stitches, I add a lot of different straight stitches that go haphazardly. To, so it kind of makes it look like it's uh, it's got pine needles on it. So that was phase two. That was a lot of fun. Every time I look at these, I'm like, oh, that was just so much fun. Mm -hmm. All right, and now I'm working on three. And I'll show you what I have so far. Same fabric, same count. Um, so I started with the post office over here. Do you uh, mind if I stop and post something? I have them with me. Yeah. <laughs> do, gosh, is that, that something? I go by that post office every day. Yeah. But it's such a pain in the neck to stop there. I don't know what that oh, really? is in my head. Yeah, Aww. post offices. I just have a thing about them. That is the filling station, I think. But I'm going to put Frank's place at the top of that because my dad loved to work on vehicles. I added a truck there. That might be Grandma's house. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then the school. I wanted the school to look like it was set further back, so I added a lot more snow in the foreground. And the people, the little kids are stitched over one, the snowman, the swing set that kind of stuff to, to just kind of give it some depth, different size trees and all that to, to fill in again, to give it that look of it's sitting further back. That's the mercantile. I just finished that the other day. Now this one that I'm working on is groceries. So that's the grocery store. And then I also still have to do the quilt shop. And then I think this one will be finished. I'm gonna wow. do, I'm gonna finish groceries, do the quilt shop. And I think that was all I had planned for this one. Nice. Yeah. But you never know, that could change as well. <laughs> Stay I don't ever like to stick to <laughs> stick to a rule. <laughs> I was thinking oh. earlier today about our in March we'll go into our sixth year oh. on YouTube. And I was thinking about all the people we've met and it's it's hard because you want to say hi to people, but you don't want to leave anybody out. Yes. But I was thinking about the people who are home without lots of family at home anymore. Like mm -hmm. Sandy has her family up in Alaska around her. Um, Leela, she has her sister. Um, Willa has her friends. I don't know if any of her family is still down that way. But anybody that's out there that is uh, enjoying the holiday and doesn't have a lot of company, we hope you'll find a way to pass it and enjoy it and maybe yeah. get together with some other people. Yeah. Um, but we'll be thinking of you too. And we hope everybody uh, enjoys it. Yes. I actually picked out something that I'm going to stitch on Christmas Day if oh, I get really? stitching time. Yep. I decided I'm going to do some. Nice. <laughs> Why? What? She looked at me and I thought, it was sort of one of those looks and I thought maybe she was thinking, you're really going to do it? No, my, no, I'll tell you what that look was. I'm like, darn, I wish I could do it's, it's my year to host Christmas, so oh. I won't be stitching. Oh, you have it here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, yeah. yeah, I get it. Which, I mean, I, I don't mean to complain. That's Oh, it's a wonderful time. I'm, I'm we were able to, to join it, them a few years like, ago and it was great. It's just, it's not, I won't be stitching. I, like, hardly stitched. That's, that's the thing. I it's, mean, i I told Sandy that too. It's been really hard to it, it's, find the time recently. Yes. And the so sand, anyway, what were you saying about you 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 picked something for Christmas Day? Yeah, I think I'm gonna work on another one of those. I bought the threads, the poinsettia fob. You know the little uh, the, the, silk gauze. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I think it'd be fun to yeah, do another one. Yeah, definitely. It was fun to stitch, and it goes by so easy. Oh, okay. Wow. And I thought it'd be fun. Um. I am doing some beading too, but I don't know. Watch, that'll change though. <laughs> oh. I am working on this little guy. Um, yeah, what? let's show them what you're working this on. This is I love that, that red. pattern you got me. Oh. Oh no, Aww. you got it. You got it at Shepherd's Bush. I did. The peppermint, I'm doing peppermint and pine. The pattern, um, like it's that. a cardinal. It will be. And it has a pine needle, pine cone, and some pine needles around it. Cool. It's on 40 count, and I actually happen to have a piece of 40 count 
vintage country mocha, which is around like perfect every shop now. I think yeah. has it, so it <laughs> shouldn't be too hard to find. But um, very cool. I think I started this at Kevin's house early November. I got it started and outlined part of it, and now I can just fill it in. Nice. I like what I did. Oh, before it gets too late in our video, because we can't have a long video today, Liz has somewhere to go, and I have my last <laughs> holiday party. Yes. Um, but let's do some giveaways <laughs> because it's been oh, like at least three weeks. You said since our last yeah, video, between three and four. So we had some giveaways on that video, and um, Liz is going to announce some of the winners. We had four different fractor patterns from um, that, that we were blessed with to give away from um, The Old Man and the Bee is the name of the company. And there's four different fractors. They're all awesome. So you had to use the keyword fractor. We chose four and we will send you one of these. So the first one goes to at Shannon. And then I'm gonna assume not a Stein is a last name or it's note and Stein, uh, 1562. And these, I'm going to list these in the description box just because of this change in people's oh, channel okay. names and stuff. You can verify it, um, and make sure it is you. Oh, good idea. Um, the second one is Ragaza 2586. Then there's Cindy Stepanovich. 8956. And the last one is June Detweiler, 7100. Perfect. And somehow I have your thread. Oh. Don't know how that happened. Uh, I'm guessing I. S I don't know. <laughs> I handed you something from my stuff, or you held something. I don't know. Maybe I gave you something. Okay, so. We had a bundle. We had two bundles. They are all from the Fat Quarter Shop. This is the first bundle, This the uh, quilt bundle. So you use yes. the keyword quilt. And the winner? The winner is Desiree Ross, 6663. Okay. Then we had another one, um, all Fat Quarter Shop patterns. This is the stitch bundle. And your keyword was stitch. And that's going to Elizabeth Daniels Stones. Okay. Daniel's dash tones. I'm sorry. It's hyphenated. And then 8893. Okay. So, All right. Perfect. I'll put that in the description box and you'll be able to okay. also locate Deb's email address. Yes. To yes. send her your information. And one more thing Liz and I wanted to do since it is Christmas time. I know you won't see us until after the holidays, but you can give all year round. So we have a whole bunch of goodies you in this it? big, 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 big tray. <laughs> You're seeing it from the top down. Yeah. <laughs> it's very full. But we would like to do some grab bags. Grab bags are so fun and they seem to be such a hit. And yes, this is for anywhere. It doesn't matter where you're watching us from. Yep. So if you are interested in winning a grab bag, just please be a subscriber and then we will choose four winners. And at our next video, we will announce who is going to be receiving a grab bag. Yes, we will. And Merry Christmas. Thank you to everyone who sends us things that we can pass along to you. Um, that's that's so sweet. Thank and you very, very generous. Much. And yes, it, it, I mean, there's a lot of postage involved when you send stuff like yes. that too, and we really appreciate it. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention too is, over the years we've been involved with guilds at different levels. We uh, spotlighted guilds. Mm -hmm. We've gotten to visit guilds. We've been members of guilds, and we just want to say hi to all of our friends in the guilds. Yes. Um, I was thinking about the. EGA retreat we're coming up to. I can't wait. It's going to be a blast. I, I can't wait. I'm wondering how many people from other retreats we've been on might be there yeah. that we see again. Yeah, I'm so excited because we haven't been able to make any of our local meetings. Right. Um, it's just been too darn busy. Yep. I mean, I haven't been home one weekend. Yeah. So it's just been really crazy. And a lot of our guild friends from the Delaware um, Valley Guild our EGA members as well, and mm -hmm. they tend to go. And then we have our new membership with Molly Pitchers, which yep. we haven't been to yet. Yep. And I did verify, just so you know, after you made that question, asked me about was there anything left we had to do yeah. for our retreat, 
I went home and I'm laying in bed trying to go to sleep. This is mostly what I do now is go through the day and try to make sure I didn't forget anything. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to double check. Now she had to ask and I thought I had that covered, but we had it covered. Oh, so we're good. Went, yeah, it's yeah, all oh, good. Yeah, it's okay. all good. Woo. Good. <laughs> I, I thought to myself, Mark, please don't let me wake up and find out we weren't covered because I don't know how I'll explain that to them. Uh, you don't have reservations. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you send us something? Oh so my anyway, gosh. We're good to go. All right, good. That, I just can't believe. It seemed like forever ago when you actually made the reservations and now here we are. It'll be January like no. that. And I, I mean... <laughs> I'm actually trying to figure out how I explained to Rick I'm going again. Because it was October when we left last time. Then I went we'll to call Kevin's. Him in the car on our way. There you go. <laughs> then I went to Kevin's in November and I'm thinking, oh, how do I get gosh. off getting out of here again? Yeah. I, t I, I have to find a place that Rick wants to go to that I can just send him away for a while. Yeah? Yeah, but see, he doesn't want to go away. without me. So it mm. kind of still doesn't get him out by himself. But Aww. maybe he doesn't really want to go by himself. I went to an open mic on um, uh, Friday night yeah. that he does down in Columbia. It was so much fun. Aww. They did renditions of, they had to do one Christmas song along with anything else they might perform. Okay. And the man that, he wasn't, I don't think he was the very last one, um, but when I had never heard Tom perform before, and he played, and he did the the song Hallelujah. Oh yes! What an incredible voice he had, and it sounded just like the cover song. Aww. And then he finished his his set with the Grinch. Oh really? And he sounded just like the cartoon voice that does the song. Oh my gosh! It was gosh. perfect. That's awesome. Right down to not playing and doing the speaking parts and the narrator <laughs> part. All of it was wow. just great. Oh, that's neat. That was so mm -hmm. fun. It is It is fun to... The different parts of building up to Christmas Day. Even yes. Even though some of them are chores or right. things we have to do. It all sort of just is like a layer effect, you know? That's true. That's a good way to look at it, too. And I really enjoyed having yeah. the chance to hear that music. Oh, I asked Santa for a CD player that will also stream. Oh, yeah? So I can play my favorite Christmas or music CDs and listen to, like, Spotify or okay. um, iTunes, whatever else I have my music in. Because if you just get a CD changer boombox, they don't stream like that. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. thought it'd be nice. And I miss, we have an Alexa, but we just have a dot. Is that okay. what it's called? Or spot. A dot I or think, a spot? I think a dot, but. It's round. So I think it's, well, whatever. <laughs> it plays music, <laughs> but I I fixed it so it would play music from my phone one time. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. Then I promptly forgot how I set that up. And we had a power outage. It cleared the the spot somehow lost its data so i put things back on renamed it because i changed it from from alexa so that the kids wouldn't turn it on all the time don't say that too loud she'll hear you oh yeah did that once didn't we <laughs> and um so at this point i thought it would be nice to have something that would give nice music i had a five cd changer dvd player actually yeah that would also play music and I could put five on and put it on shuffle. Mm -hmm. and, it and it would was, just continue. Oh, it was like the right amount of time to do my cookies or the right amount yeah. of time to decorate the tree or the right amount of time to clean. It just was the perfect amount. Aww. And then I gave that to, I think, Carrie maybe. Um, and no, I gave her my boom box. That's right. I don't remember where the changer went. And then I never replaced my music source and of course i could put one on at a time in there and listen right. to it but yeah that'd just be a waste of my energy i like that they have those music stations on the tv you can just yes let it play you can put on like that pretty um on comcast visual yeah mm -hmm. you know the fireplace or yeah but some things. of us are boycotting comcast so. ah 
Yeah, I haven't had that in, what's it been? Like maybe five oh, years? Oh, that's true. So you, okay, gotcha. I that's just right. have my, that's my right. uh, apps. That's right. So yeah. I don't get that. But I did find out that we get the Hallmark channels on YouTube TV with Kevin's. Oh, YouTube. yeah? Yeah. Nice. I stumbled on that. I hmm. should have known that. I mean, it would have made sense. But I didn't know he was subscribing to it. Yeah. So, so we can still get out there and see some movies. <laughs> <laughs> I found an ornament for Deb that I gave her on her birthday. And it <laughs> says, "Let what's it say? Let it snow and I have the Hallmark channel or something like that. Yes. And um, I can go get it. That's okay. Time. It just, it was perfect. So she hung it on the tree on her birthday and they had decorated the tree after Thanksgiving time or before. Mm -hmm. Was it before Thanksgiving? No, the tree was up Thanksgiving day and then it okay. took us until Tuesday before my birthday right. to decorate it. Okay. So it was between yeah. Thanksgiving and her birthday they got the tree done so when I was here it was all decorated and she said do you remember that ornament we made in that class and I said yeah she said help me find it I want to make sure it's not in the bottom of a box so we were looking 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 I stood there for I don't know how long every time <laughs> she was busy doing something I was staring at the tree and then just before I was ready to scoot out the door I said found it yep she said where I said nope no, you said found it, and that's when Rick got here. Oh, and, that's right. Rick and I didn't even in. get a chance to be like, okay, where's the ornament? And then we were saying goodbye and all that's this stuff. That's right. You leave, and I thought, wait a second. She found it. I don't know where it is. And I didn't tell her <laughs> at all. Oh. And then... So then I went over to the tree, because I kind of knew where she was standing. <laughs> now, our tree is large. It's 16 foot tall. That's If you haven't seen it before, then that's why it takes a while to find an ornament. And it was... Logan, Bree, me, Matt, McKenna putting up ornaments. So I, you know, we didn't hang them all. And this was a little thin package that was a uh, needlepoint stitched. It, they were supposed to be called cookie ornaments. <laughs> it was really cute. And I wanted to make sure it was there because I, I love it. And I want to make sure it wasn't in the bottom of a box still. <laughs> so I'm over at the tree looking and looking. Oh my gosh. It was right behind the ornament that she gave me that I actually hung on the tree. <laughs> and that, and when she said to me, wasn't it funny that. that it was right behind the ornament you gave and me? And then you didn't see and that. And I said, I didn't even notice that <laughs> ornament when I found it. So. That was so funny. It was. Oh my gosh. We're quite a pair. Aren't we? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. Well, next on my agenda is give Kai a ride. You have to, uh, yeah, I have to get her to you work. You have to play taxi. I do. And then I have to go party, party. And if it works right, I'll taxi over to the post office after I drop oh, her yeah. off. <laughs> if I get in there by four. I was going to say, I think they're up until four. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I did get... Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Charlie. I just, <laughs> I just bonked Charlie on the head. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I meant to turn that towards you before I turned oh, it around. Oh, cute. Yeah, I, so I his, like that red. Got his body going cool. there. So what I did was I just outlined this while I was visiting Kevin and I finished it today the little outline and now I'm just filling it in that's nice because then you can do like that mindless stitching yes yeah like I just did <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't Not make like any mistakes a border or yes anything. <laughs> yes leave the border out of this deal. there's no border on this one and it's gonna be you could add one yeah it's gonna be <laughs> yeah I will not <laughs> pretty nice size when it's done so I'm not sure if I'll I say, you actually like use it as an ornament I might I, or a pillow cute. for my doble oh yeah yeah that'd be pretty yeah, too because I pretty. have crows but I don't have any cardinals yeah. that I know of so anyway and cardinal is your bird yes and I want to show one thing real quick okay I don't yes. think I showed you but I did start working on a beaded object 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 this is actually the bottom of my bell snickel santa's beard oh wow and it's just simple, like three colors in it. You work with the top, and really? then he's got a lot of fringe. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I love that. I love I was that red. Even thinking, yeah, no, I chose That's different colors for this beautiful. one. Beautiful. I didn't care That's for the ones that were in the. I like kit. that it's not that bright red. That's what I was like in that. the kit. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So I did this, yeah. and um, I also thought it would be pretty done in, like, you've seen them in the blue. Oh, yeah. And the green. And I thought. That'd It'd be, be kind of neat to have yeah. a couple different ones. Yeah, very cool. So that was that. Well, this was short and sweet, but I'm glad that we got to um, 
come on and say Merry Christmas. And, yes. And also see each other real quick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we have to get our, our couple minutes a day in yes. one way or another. And we mm -hmm. do wish you all a very happy mm -hmm. holiday. And we look forward to seeing everybody in January. Yes. And watch for our next video so you can find out if you have a grab bag coming your way. Yes. And as always, share, share the joy, joy need to work. work. See ya. Bye-bye.